Hello. Okay, so I'm going to talk about how to do alternating flams really, really fast. Um, and this is a trick I kind of stumbled upon in college while trying to work on it and figure it out. Um, so this is the way I kind of teach it. It's really weird to explain, so I'll be demonstrating a lot, okay? So essentially what's happening whenever I do, like what I mean as far as really fast alternating flams is, is that thing. So um, yeah, essentially what you're doing is a molar stroke. It's a molar. So if you know what the molar stroke is, it's basically a whipping motion that produces either one bounce, like I'm doing, or two bounces, or multiple. And what you end up having to do is basically flow with that motion to keep it continuing. So, so as you whip in, the arm kind of comes out and it just has this like, almost like clockwork movement. So that's essentially what's happening. And a way to kind of teach yourself how to get into that without like doing any extraneous movement or any weird things is comparing it to your double stroke. So if you notice, you're keeping this motion the same. And if you want to emulate the sound or the effect of an alternating flam, what you can do is basically start off with a double stroke roll. And the really important thing is to make sure that the motion of the arm stays exactly the same. So basically you're doing, okay? All right, so that has to stay exactly the same. There's only one thing that's going to change to get the effect and that is the pressure in the hand and in the fingers. So whatever pressure you use for the double stroke roll, you wanna focus on that area and without changing your arm motion, relax that pressure. What's gonna happen is as the pressure relaxes, the doubles are going to widen out and start to get more spacious. So in slow motion, that's normal and as you relax it gets sloppy and, and something that that you can also do to help facilitate that is if the bounces aren't widening enough you can use a little bit more height so if your doubles are here and you're not getting the exact spacing you want, you can increase the height to help the velocity and help the bounces a little bit more. So if you're here, you need more height as you relax. And actually that could be a good way of experimenting too. As you get looser, the hands might need to get higher. So that's one way of doing it. Um, I usually try to keep it all the same just because I like isolating different parts. So if I do it with height, I try to keep the height the same. If I do it with just loosening the fingers, then I try to keep the height the same. And then I can mix and match as I want. So you have those options. If you want to just try doing a double stroke roll first and simply relaxing, And again, the motion has to stay the same. This is the hard part. So I'm not, I'm literally not changing my motion. This is the weird thing. The, this stays the same. I'm just relaxing my thumb muscle and the back of my hand. And it feels really weird, <laughs> okay? So it's, it's gonna feel like weird doing that while you're still maintaining a movement that's the same, okay? So another thing you could try is, uh, if, you, if doing it this way isn't working, you could do it double stops. 
That way you can focus on both at the same time. So again, it's slow motion. And then for me, I'm relaxing my thumb muscle first. That gets that. And then I'm relaxing the back of my hand. So that creates a little bit more, relaxing the back of my hand creates more space in the back for it to bounce higher. For me. <laughs> and then in reverse, close the back. It's hard to do it the other way around. And then the front. Okay? So. Cool, then. Then you can start splitting it. Okay? <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> so again, so basically what you're training yourself to do first is really, really sloppy doubles. And again, you have to force yourself to try not to control it or else you get like, then you start forcing it and then you start having more pressure. The, the key for this one is to relax the pressure. <laughs> or else you won't be able to like do it as fast as you could. Um, like, um, how do you explain that? So the, the more you allow the stick to do what it wants just to do that, the more flexibility you have with this movement. So let's say if you wanted to, uh, to do that, the more if you aren't relaxed in the back of the hand, the back of the hand can't do the Da 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 da. You know, if you're not relaxed in the back of it, it's going to be harder for it to go. Da, 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 you know, that kind of thing. Um, and especially in the fulcrum, the more um, flexible you are in the fulcrum, the more uh, control you have over the speed of the bounces. So let's say if you want to. So here is more relaxed than. Than that one. So the faster it is, the more pressure and more energy that goes to the front. Um, but if you're not already relaxed, then you don't really have the control or the the sensitivity to do that. Cool. So aside. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll try to go through it one more time. Uh, <laughs> so again, you're gonna. I would probably start here. And then find what's comfortable to relax first. So if it's comfortable to relax the front first, uh, for me, it's comfortable to do that. But others, this is harder. So uh, if you relax the front first, you get that kind of flammy thing. Uh, if you relax the back first, you have this. You almost feel like you're doing that almost. That's why I don't like doing it. Um, so I would recommend trying to relax the fulcrum in the front of your hand first and the back. Um, just a recommendation. Cool? And then do it really progressively. Try to do it as slow as you can and relax as slow as you can. That way you can really focus on keeping the movement the same. And really letting the stick do what it wants. And again, you don't have to be... That can come later, but just sloppy. That's basically what, what I always do. Cool? All right. So I hope this helped. <laughs> um, yeah. Have fun. <laughs> Bye.